Hi, the topic for today's video is count and bar floats. Before starting the video, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell notification icon to never miss out on our videos. Now let's see what are count plots. But before let's import our pandas, t-bone and matplotlib libraries as pdsns and plt. Then we have our data frame, which is placement data full class dot csv of 215 rows and 15 columns. And let's see what a count plot. So the count plot is used for categorical columns of a data frame. Now let's see what are those. So count up the observation we have per category and display in bars. So what count plots does is it counts the observations we have per category or per column and displays it in bars. So we can say the count plot is a histogram for categorical values. So now let's plot one. So we have this command sns.countplot. So Seaborn has count plot method in it. And we've passed the argument as df gender. So we have this gender column. Now let's plot it. So we have male and female bar plots as you can see. But it, this is a count plot which counts the number of males and number of females in the column gender. Now let's set a style for a uh, grid or plot, which is a dark grid. Now let's see what this SSCB does. So we have ordered in such a way that it, which appears first in the column. Now let's see. Here you can see male was the first and then female was the second. And you can see this is male was the highest and female was uh, the lowest and here you can see others category is first and then the central so we don't know how the count plot arranges or orders the bars because here it is descending and here it is at ascending so we can see uh, in our data frame that male is first it occurs first and then female so male is plotted first in the count plot and we can see in the SSCB we have others first, others first and then central and therefore others is plotted first and then the central bar. Now if you want to align according to more popular to least popular means if you want central first and then the others then we can use dot value counts method dot index. So we have this value counts method and we take the index of that value counts of SSCB then we have this list of ours which says central and then others now we will have the central and others then we will pass this df.ssc.valuecounts.index in order this is the order method offered by a dot count plot now we have central and then others now if you want to change it or reverse it or if you want to uh, in ascending order then we have to just slice it and say colon colon minus one. So we have arranged it in ascending order as you can see over here. Now let's see uh, SNS dot count plot y is equal to SSCB. So now this is our vertical count plot. Now let's see how we can plot our count plot vertically or horizontally. So if, if I pass y is equal to SSCB, then we have a horizontal count plot. Now let's see what x is equal to HSCS as for us. So we have commerce, then science and then arts according to the listing or the first which appears. As you can see, first is commerce, science and arts that is appeared in our data frames. So we have likewise the data. Now if you want uh, in commerce, how many males and how many females are there? And in science, how many males and females? And also in arts, how many males and females are studying? Then we can pass in it in hue. So when we set hue is equal to gender, then it will segregate according to males and females. So blue are males and females are in orange. So in commerce and science, males are greater than females, but in arts, females are greater than males. So this is hue is such useful for this and if you want to change the color of our count plot then we can put color is equal to red 
so all the plots are in red color now but if you want in any other color and we don't want this blue green and uh, orange so we can pass in palette and palette has hundred and thousand of uh, values in it so but here we have used twilight so we have this colors into it now these are the colors offered by the palette now let's see how we can change the line width and edge color so the line width just has just gives a line uh, to the bars we have and the edge color gives the color to the width line we have so we have a line over our bar plots so we have these bars and we have a line and we give the width of the line 4 and give the color as black now sns.count plot so then if we have this hatch is equal to something like a slash then we can have the hashes over here if we want it as capital x or something we can have it likewise if you you can have anything we can have o capital o just a minute this is nothing so we have zero then o's we can have o's and but let's keep it as slice that's all from the count plot let's see what are bar plots bar plots take the average of categorical data and count plot gives the count of unique values in the data so count plot does just counts the values in the data but bar plots take the average of the data now we have confidence intervals via bootstrapping the lines we have in the bar plot then the lines are due to uh, errors so it indicates the error bar so error bars are graphical representations of the variability of data and used on graphs to indicate the error or uncertainty in the reported measurement so if we have any uncertainty in the measurement or something uh, we have in our data so it is represented as the small line over our bar plot so let's see how we have it now here i have sns dot bar plot x as gender and y as SSC percentage so we have SSC percentage on y axis and gender on x axis then we can see the small line uh, which indicates the error bar so we have some of the other kind of error in our data set it indicates that means if we have some errors or we can get some errors out of it and now we have a numpy function or numpy library imported as np and we have used np's function which is standard deviation and when we use it in estimator then we can see this line is more deviated or we can see the error has increased as we have used the estimator and if we use this estimator as mean then we can see the in mean the height of the error is decreased so the error so this bar is prone to error but very less likely so this is all from bar plots and count plots if you like the video please hit the thumbs up button and if you have any doubts put it in the comment section and we'll get back to your doubts thank you